and happy 2017. Yes, it's Alex. I'm back again with another review for you guys. And not really a Christmas miracle. It just missed out on Christmas. But a New Year's miracle. We have a pop culture shock statue in the house. Woo! Yeah. Yes, one has actually turned up. Um, so this was due for ship in October. I paid my shipping on both of my Vegas. Um, around the end of October and then it got delayed for several weeks <laughs> um, it literally arrived yesterday, today sorry it arrived this morning which is the 6th of January um, having been sent out around the 21st of December um, Pop Culture Shock said that um, there was something wrong with the shipping container or something so it got delayed you know, you've waited so long from Pop Culture Shock um, what's another few weeks? And yes, this is Pop Culture Shock. This is, sorry, I didn't even introduce the guy. This is Vega, obviously. This is the Player 2 exclusive, 1 4 scale. The first and the brand new Ultra Line. Now, what Ultra Line is from Pop Culture Shock is a fully sculpted action pose on a diorama style base. Um, now, the old um, Street Fighter line from Pop Culture Shock, mixed media, 1 4 scale, isn't actually 1 4 scale. It's like. A little under 1.4 scale, so the Ultra Line is meant to be true 1.4 scale, and I've got to say, Vega's pretty fucking huge. Um, like I say, this is the exclusive version. Um, there's two exclusives. You get the regular, which I'll go over it in a second. Um, there's the Player One colours um, exclusive, and then this is the Player Two colours exclusive. Um, I, like I say, I've got the Player One exclusive coming as well. Don't know where that is. This one's turned up out of the blue. Um, hopefully the other one should be along this week. And I uh, will do a quick review on that one. Um, to be honest, I ordered both, intending to display both. Um, I think I'm probably only going to keep the original colour one now. This one might go up for sale. Actually, it probably will go up for sale. Um, I think on Red Titan's review of Robocop, one of the guys on there said, you know, it took so long that their collection had changed so vastly. You know, they couldn't really keep the Robo Cop anymore, it didn't fit. And while I'm still collecting Street Fighter statues, I don't really want a pair of them anymore. Um, you know, so many new collectibles coming out, and you know, um, specifically this year, we've got the Prime on Giver and Ultraman stuff coming out, so any money will go to that. Um, but luckily, getting this in hand, I know that my Player One version is going to be fantastic. Because let me say this, and I say this on every Pop Culture Shot review, they are so worth the weight. He has come out perfect. Now, there's been a few issues which we'll go over, but um, my, I've got to say, touch wood, mine's, came out, mine's come out great. I, honestly, I don't have any problem with anything I get from Pop Culture Shock. I don't know why, but I just don't seem to. So let me just go quickly over what we get in the box. We do get the white gloves, as usual, a pop culture shop favourite. Um, but, of course, we get our certificates of authenticity. Only 275 of these bad boys. Number 161, signed, of course, by the man himself, Jerry McAluso. Um, we also get, fantastic with this, if we can get it all onto camera, we get an Udon print. Signed by, I think it's Edwin, Mr. Edward Huang. Um, one of the guys over at Udon. If you've never read a Street Fighter Udon comic, I definitely uh, recommend picking one up. As um, um, they, you know, Street Fighter lore and story is all over the place. Udon put it back into place um, very well as well. Some of the best artists around um, doing Udon comics. Um, definitely try and pick up the hot big hardbacks, the classic Street Fighter goes from all the. When Udon first started, and they're still running now. Um, the only thing I will say about this print is, um, it's in Player 1 colours. I think it would have been nice if they did some Player 2 colours. Or a Player 2 colour version. Just for the Player 2 colour um, play color exclusive. But, you know, it's still a nice bonus. Now, onto the statue itself. Let's get that. So, as you can see, very dynamic. We've got Vega flying through the air. Now, this is the exclusive version. Um, 
like I say, the colours are exclusive, but it's also got the exclusive parts. So the exclusive parts are the hand of the mask and the unmasked face with the licky tongue, which I will try and get close up for you. Um, first issue I've noticed um, people have had is on the unmasked head, licky tongue stuck to the hair. Um, which I, mine's kind of like, but it's not so bad. Some have really got a big glob of paint on, which doesn't really cut it after this amount of time. Um, to be honest, the time on this hasn't been like you know, this isn't a two year plus statue, it's probably around a year and a half, maybe. Um, but you know, lick it on. I don't know why they did this. I'll just take the head off and we can get some, try and get you a nice close up. So, as you can see, the tongue and the hair just a little bit melded. And I know a few people have had googly eyes. Um, mine aren't too bad, to be honest. When it's on display, you don't really don't notice. Like, if you look at any eyes that are facing one way and look at them from the wrong direction, they're going to look a little googly. So, from there, you know, it looks okay. But from there, you know, it looks pretty much spot on. And then, of course, we have the masked hand. Very strong magnet. This is a super thin, delicate piece. Super nicely done. The hand, the sculpt on the hands, the veins. And the nails, look at the nail. I'll show you the nails on the regular hand. Um, you know, we've got like the cuticles. Really, really nicely done. So like I say, if you did order the regular statue, this is the hand and the mask that you'd get. And the mast head, sorry, that you'd get. Obviously in the Player One colours. The only way of getting this, these colours is to buy the Player Two exclusive. There's the mast head. And as you can see, a lot of people spoke about this, but the mask is a separate element. So you can actually see there, it's not on the face, it's not part of the sculpt of the face, it's a separate element, so it gives it that, you know, that look that you just put the mask on. Look at that. Um, the claw, which is another se separate piece. Actual metal. Seeing a couple of breaks on there, not a lot. This statue's kind of gone under the radar slightly, to be honest. Which is ridiculous because, as you can see, the paints have come out perfect. Um, everyone was obviously worried about um, the tattoo on his body. But there's been no problems whatsoever with that. I'm just going to pull him forward a little bit. Just so. We can get those back tattoos. Now he won't fit in a best, I don't think. At, um, because of the height. And I haven't tried him in a D12. I honestly don't know. Where the hell I'm going to display him. As you can see, the back tattoo is perfect. The tone, the skin tone, pop culture shock always get the skin tone so spot on for me. No problems there. Good painted nips. And yeah, it's just a I don't think I could have picked a better pose for Vega. It's, you know, it's just, you know, apart from sticking him on the actual cage, it doesn't get much better. So now I'm going to drop us down and take a look at this fantastic base. Boom. So the base is all one piece. Comes very nicely packaged, as usual. Got the twin snakes. 
Vegas mask and then just unbelievable detail I mean there's no color to the base you know it's you know but this is this this is the benefits of um, digital sculpting my friend Paul Starr in there but you know this level of detail can you imagine someone sitting hand sculpting I mean obviously it's been done before but the advent of digital sculpts means that they can rep reproduce this kind of detail and this, these sort of patterns, you know, with a few clicks here and there. It's unbelievable. And it all being like one wash, it's got like a very stony, like a um, sandy texture to it. Just perfection. It's ridiculous. Um, anyone thinking, well, I'll actually say all that, but obviously this is going to lean. It's got a mighty peg on it. Um, Vega himself isn't that heavy. The weight's all in the base, which it needs to be, obviously, for you know to stop it leaning, to keep it balanced. Um, I'd say the peg probably runs from his foot here down to around here. You know, it's a good couple of inches. Um, I don't think he's going to lean in the future. I'd be very, very surprised. Hopefully the bar runs up into his leg. Um, actually, the old Vega had terrible leaning <laughs> issues from what I remember. So hopefully Jerry's done what he can to stop that happening again. But damn, look at this. It's just awesome. I don't think anyone is interested in the statue. It has gone a bit under the radar. Like I say, it's come out. And people, I don't know if people just don't like Vega or, you know, obviously he's not more as popular as Ryu or Ken, or even like Akuma. But, you know, I think Vega's definitely got his fan base, and these are low edition size. I think the Player One exclusive is literally, you know, 275, 250 the same. Um, you know, and Pop Culture Shop just, you know, I know that, I know the delay is ridiculous. I know, you know, we like to moan. I've moaned. You know, I'm patient. I'm patient with Pop Culture Shock. I mean, I've had so much stuff off them now that I know the delays are going to result in good things. I mean, and I'm totally fed up of waiting for my year one three um, Scorpion Sub Zero. But, you know, what can you do? And when the statue does come in hand, you know, and you're getting this quality, and this is quality, this is, you know, as good as anything anyone else, you know, Sideshow XR, whatever. You know, for Street Fighter, you know, we're talking a game, you know, which isn't realistic looking, you know, it isn't um, hyper detailed. Even Street Fighter Five, you know, it's still got those anime style style um, style to it, you know. And Pop Culture Shop just does such a good job and takes it to the next level, you know. Um, I don't think anyone touches them on Street Fighter, you know, and they continue to improve, um, and. The best thing is now that the Ultra line, they, they're proving good on it. Um, so after Vega, Kami went up for order. After Kami, um, Zangief went up for order, which is monstrous, huge statue, sold really well. And then recently, um, Jory from Street Fighter 4 went up for order. Again, amazing, fantastic looking statue, fantastic premise. Um, just real, real good stuff. Um, you know, the ultra lines, the line, you know, if you want a bit more oomph in your statues, you know, you don't like the black base, I know a lot of people don't like the black base, then this is the line, you know. I think once they do a Ryu and a can, you know, and start introducing um, on jewelry, they introduce this in clear resin effect you can put onto the base as an option, which is a little strange, but I can see why they've done it. Um, you know, they start doing things like of can and Ryu and Akuma. Chun Li and those sorts of characters, I just think you know it's going to be such a fantastic line. Um, and they are staying, and fantastically, that they are staying consistent with the mixed media line as well. You know, so um, there you go, guys. Pop up shock. <laughs> we get there in the end, hopefully. Like I say, this week I'll have my um, Vega Player One exclusive. Um, I'll just give you a quick rundown of what's coming up this month. It's, this month is going to be crazy. Um, so I've got my Pop Culture Shock 
Player One exclusive Vega. I've got my Player One exclusive Oro, which I'm very, very excited about. I've seen lots of pictures of that. It looks amazing. Um, first figures are shipping Artorias from Dark Souls in the end of January, which is insane since it only went up for pre order in July last year. Um, and then I've got my two Sideshow pieces, which I've been waiting and waiting for um, Captain Marvel, which you know has already been up for Statue of the Year and you know one of the best sculpts of last year, despite only coming out a few weeks ago. And my Green Lantern, which has been a long time coming. Um, so hopefully to this month I'm going to get at least those five up and then try and continue to finish off the statues that I haven't got around Wonder Woman, Batman. Um, Punisher um, and a few others here and there. I've also had my common rider diorama from Exceed who did the um, Vegeta Blue versus Gold Freezer. Uh, I did have a couple of breaks on this. I'm trying to get replacements. It's a fantastic diorama. I can't wait to review it. Huge, complicated, just brilliant. But I've had a couple of breaks so I'm waiting for replacements before I do the review on that. Hopefully Exceed can come through for me. Um, but there you go guys, sorry to go a little off topic there, but that's what will be coming up this month, hopefully. <laughs> I'm hopefully going to do a few more reviews after Vega um, tonight. Um, so there we go guys, Pockle Shock, Ultra, Vega, one four scale, fantastic. Vega fan, get it, Street Fighter fan. If you want to get in on the Street Fighter line, start the Ultra line, this is the one. Alright guys, thanks for watching.